Next on PIJN News, Dr. Chaps reports on these important issues. David Horowitz is a former leftist who has become Donald Trump's favorite author, an American Jew who actually promotes uh, it defeats the radical mind, his latest book. Today, Dr. Anthony Harper will interview him. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps and you're watching PIJN News. On this show, we like to do three things. We report the news, we discern the spirits, and we pray the scriptures in Jesus' name. On today's show, Dr. Anthony Harper will introduce his newest interview with American author, David Horowitz. Welcome from Boise, Idaho in the state capital, Dr. Anthony Harper. How are you today, Anthony? Well, very thankful, Dr. Chaps. Um, I'm here to uh, be able to report truth in the middle of the controversy, and uh, it was great to interview with David Horowitz. Okay, so who is David Horowitz? Our, our viewers may not be familiar. Well, he is former President Trump's favorite author from, from a statement from uh, former President Trump. Spoke very highly uh, about his, uh, when one of his books was, uh, was, was titled Final Battle. The, the next election could be our last, but um, he is, you know, a former leftist, as uh, has been mentioned, and uh, he is on the other side of the issue, and he's, he's talking seriously about the, the impact of the October 7th attack on Israel, the rise of, uh, referred to as the Hitler Youth here in America, and that's kind of a follow-up statement uh, from Alan Dershowitz, who released the video, saying how the, the protests on college campuses and in the streets remind him of the Hitler youth and this cry for, they, they believe, the free power. Okay, uh, so his latest book by David Horowitz is The Radical Mind. Let's roll this entire interview in three segments. Dr. Anthony Harper, you're blessed to meet David Horowitz uh, to talk about his new book, The Radical Mind. And you talked about, I know we talked about the, the wokeness. We hear that word often how that's uh, impacted uh, no, no, no. our nation and our society. So, David, in, in light of uh, the October 7th attack on Israel and the hateful protests in the street and on college campuses, um, uh, what would you like just to comment about that, especially in light of what you talked yeah, about heading first, towards the events and hate? First of all, I would like to encourage all conservatives and patriots to call things by their right names. What we have in America now and, and our institutions of higher learning and in our streets is a Nazi movement that wants to rerun the Holocaust and finish the job that Hitler started. And the difference is that Hitler hid the final solution, which was the elimination of all the Jews from the German people, because he thought they were too civilized to accept it. That basically, it would not be popular with the German public if they knew what was going on. The so-called Palestinians shouted from the rooftops. It's written into the charter of Hamas. And, and what's written there is a quote from Mohammed, the prophet, saying, kill all the Jews if you want to be redeemed. So the injunction to murder a, a whole people comes straight from the Prophet Muhammad uh, and has infected our universities because the universities were taken over by the left during a 50-year period from 1968 to the present. What my book tries to do is to explain this mentality. And the mentality is that you, you create this artificial universe and in it there are the oppressors and the oppressed. Uh, and in terms of the creation of the state of Israel, once you identify the Israelis as 
uh, colonial settlers, you have damned them. You have made them worthy of destruction, elimination, and genocide. Uh, these people have no attachment to any, there are no facts that would support uh, this theory. In uh, 1948, when Israel was created, there were no Palestinians. There were no people calling themselves Palestinian. So occupied Palestinian, Palestine is a myth. Free Palestine is a myth. There never was uh, a, a, a nation called Palestinian. Palestine is a term like New England and Palestinian like New Englanders. It's a geographical region, uh, was a geographical region of the Roman Empire. The word Palestine is not even an Arab word. It's a Roman, it's a Latin word from the days of the Roman Empire. When the Romans described the Jews as uh, in in the name of their enemies, the Philistines. And Palestine is just a version of that insult to the Jews, uh, Palestine. That's what it is. The second thing is, in 1948, Israel was, it was created on land that did not belong to Palestinians or Arabs at all, not one square inch. The land Israel was created on was part of the Ottoman Empire for 400 years previously. And during those 400 years, there was no movement for a Palestinian nationality. There was a movement to eliminate the Jews. The Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, uh, who was the spiritual leader of the anti-Israel movement, went to Germany to recruit an Arab legion for Hitler and had his own plans for an Auschwitz in the Middle East, uh, which was did, did not come to fruition because General Montgomery defeated Rommel at Al Alamein. And that's the only reason. The Muslims of the Middle East uh, translated my, well, it's the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, translated Mein Kampf into Arabic in the 1930s, and that was their model, although their true inspiration was the Prophet Muhammad himself, who called for the uh, extermination of the Jews. But if you ignore uh, also the nationality Palestinian, was created in 1964, which is 16 years after the creation of the State of Israel. So there was no occupation of any Palestinian state because nobody was calling themselves Palestinians in 1948. Dr. Chaps will be right back with more PIJN News. In Israel, in literally the scene of all of the holy sites, like the Via Dolorosa, where Jesus carried his cross, the garden tomb where he was raised from the dead, the Sea of Galilee, where he taught the disciples. And I prayed, Lord, how can I bring this inspiring environment into your living room? And what we've produced is a four DVD disc set with the entire Gospel of Matthew. I teach every verse in all 28 chapters of Matthew in short 12 minute segments. So you can understand the exact words that Jesus taught from the exact location where Jesus lived. Pick up the phone right now and call us at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. For a suggested donation of just $50, we'll give you all four discs, the entire Gospel of Matthew, or you can write to us at the address on your screen or visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org. You're gonna love this Bible teaching. Pick up the phone and call us today. I'm Dr. Chaps. Do you wanna get free news alerts faster than everybody else? Do you wanna get invitations to private events to come meet me in person? Do you wanna get a free religious freedom window decal? Pick up your phone, it's right there by your hand and text this word, text the word PRAY to 24365. Text the word PRAY to 24365 and we'll sign you up. 
Then call us at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D to get a free Religious Freedom sticker. Call today. Did you know Religious Freedom is under fire in our military today? Our troops do not have protection. For example, military chapels are now being desecrated by homosexual wedding ceremonies on bases in all 50 states. Our troops are now also face punishment if they dare to object to sharing common sleeping quarters or common shower facilities, or if chaplains dare to quote the Bible during private counseling that declares that homosexuality is a sin. Nobody in our military should be forced to violate their Christian conscience, especially their right to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Let's take action today for religious freedom. Would you sign a petition with me? Visit PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org. Let's defend religious freedom for our troops. Take action today. Dr. Chaps needs you to sign today's petition right now. Again, visit PrayInJesusName.org to sign our petition right now. Empowering you, the grassroots activist. Here is Dr. Chaps. Uh, These people in the streets have no connection to reality. They have a connection to an ideology which says Jews are colonial settlers and probably also Jews are white, although they're not, uh, uh, there are plenty of brown Jews. Uh, uh, They have no connection to what actually happened. Today, Chuck Schumer made a speech trying to explain the history of the region. I don't think he did a very good job, but that it was wasted breath because once you identify people as colonial settlers, you declare that whatever you do to them is a resistance to oppression and is justified. And that's the extent of thinking on the left about this issue. There is no, there's, there's nobody who's a- answered or, or the issues that I, I just raised, which shows why this war is, a, is a, based on a series of myths that have no relation to reality. Um, my book, uh, and we have that in the United States as well, the left has a what I call a hierarchy of oppression, where white males are at the top of the totem pole, and they have all the power, and they oppress everybody else. But people down the totem pole sometimes have multiple reasons why they're oppressed. And this is called uh, intersectionality. You have, you have to be a professor to think of to spew such hot air and think that it's thinking. So that, of course, women are oppressed as women, black women are oppressed as women and blacks. And at the bottom of the totem pole would be black lesbians, oppressed because they're gay, oppressed because they're black, and oppressed because they're female. Although they keep creating new categories like trans, so they're also there at the bottom. Well, why do I call this hot air? Well, it's obvious. Black Lives Matter was run, created, founded, named, and orchestrated by three black lesbians. They raised a hundred million dollars for the biggest corporations in America. They destroyed, set fire to 220 cities where they killed thousands of people, mainly black, because they basically gave an excuse to all the criminals to run riot. Um, They're they're all lesbians. Uh, How can you, and and they raised $60 million to elect Biden uh, and they're sitting in Congress uh how, how do you how do you explain this with the model which makes them the most powerless people in America and the most oppressed? You can't. What we're facing is a Nazi movement which is based on pure ignorance, just the way the original Nazis were. 
has the same goals, and the only difference is they state the goal, which is killing every Jew that breathes openly, openly, whereas Hitler hid the final solution, was a secret plan, the final solution. This is PIJN News, defending your religious freedom. Dr. Chaps will be right back. I'm excited to announce that we're having our biggest Christmas sale ever. You get our brand new six piece My Towels for only $29.98, or rejuvenate your bed with a My Pillow mattress topper as low as $99.99. Or how about My Pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98? There's something for everyone duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. Well, I know my pillow products make for the perfect Christmas gifts, so I'm going to extend my money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024. So go to mypillow.com now or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get huge discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you get our six piece towels for only $29.98. Or get your very own my pillow bed sheets for as low as twenty four ninety eight. It's our biggest Christmas sale ever. Get all your shopping done now while quantities last. Hi, I'm Dr. Chaps. I want to introduce my friend Mike Lindell, who wants to help support our ministry and the work of PIJN News. Uh, Mike, what do you think? Well, I think everybody out there, y'all need to get behind Pray in Jesus Names Ministry. Dr. Chaps here, but this great ministry needs your support and you can you should donate to it you can also use your promo code pray news and anything you're getting from my pillow with big discounts a lot of those proceeds are coming right back i'm going to put them right back into this into your amazing charity and show my employees and i are excited to announce it's our 20th anniversary and to celebrate we're bringing you a limited edition my pillow the giza elegance my pillow is made with the most amazing cotton two inch pipe gusset comes in four custom loft levels and it's machine washable and dryable when i got my pillow i'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported in line. That's why we've been around for 20 years because my pillow works. Go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get your limited edition 20th anniversary my pillow queen size. Retails for 69.98, now only 19.98. That's right, only 19.98. With my 60-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! Defending your religious freedom, here is Dr. Chaps. Well, David, I want to ask you about, do you think this BLM is morphing into a, a PLM, a Palestinian Lives Matter uh, event across our nation that could become... There are no Palestinian Lives. Doesn't matter worse than It's an invention. There is no... There are, there are no Palestinians. The, the people that are called now, first of all, the term Palestinian was used as a national, uh, to, to, to pretend there was a nation of Palestinians. In 1964, 16 years after Israel was created, the chief movers behind it were the Russian KGB and, and the Egyptian dictator, Nasser. Until that moment, the slogan of the so was it wasn't called the uh, of the Palestinian Liberation Organization was push the Jews into the sea. It was just to kill them, and the KGB convinced them that if they wanted to rally people to their side, that was a bad slogan. Push the Jews into the sea. Uh, well, they, but David, they, it, seem, it seems but like you know, if they yeah. created a nationality, they could okay. claim self determination, which is what's happened. Well, David, I was going to say about members of Congress, we we've heard it, uh, and yeah. uh, you know they're they're promoting this this big lie, uh, as, a, as you pointed out about Palestinian and lies, is, where there are no shells around them. Okay, it's a Nazi caucus in the Democratic Party in the House. Uh, and of course, it's led by Ilhan Omar and AOC and Rashida Tlaib, 
uh, although she's an American, she claims uh, to be oppressed as a Palestinian. But my book exposes this method, this species of non-thought, which explains how people can be so irrational, how people who can think of themselves as progressive and humanitarian can support a Nazi movement whose expressed goal is the murder of everyone who's Jewish on the planet. You know, David, it reminds me of uh, what Alan Dershowitz recently was talking about, how this this uh, movement across on the college campuses reminds him of the Hitler youth. I actually used that phrase when I was at San Diego. There's a famous video of me confronting a Palestinian supporter. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I said, uh, you know, the demonstration was, uh, we have the Hitler Youth Movement here, is what I said. That's what it is. It's called Students for Justice in Palestine, which is a mass creation. Okay, I was going to mention, in your book, you talk about the, the defenses in def de defense of our republic, you know, how the family is so important. And then also the about issue of religion, you, I know you commented about Judeo-Christian heritage under attack. So uh, to, to clarify for our uh, viewers about the importance of the family, what do you see? And then as far as the, the Judeo-Christian heritage of America. And these people are, these ideologues are political and they want the power of the state to implement their programs. So religion, there's, they're, 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 there are religious people who are part of this movement, unfortunately, but people who believe that a, uh, a redemption by human effort and not divine effort is impossible. And that's a true religion. And that, those, that kind of religion is a threat to these people because they believe in the, in the divinity of the state. That they should be, they want to eliminate all the institutions that are not controlled by the state. And most of the freedoms we look, we've already lost are victims of that battle. So are you, you're saying, I know in the book about heading towards the abyss, so it, these issues about the erosion of the family and the assault on Judeo-Christian heritage, do you see that as part of that, a, key, a key part of heading towards the abyss? Absolutely. The, I mean, it, it's the reason that they attack religion uh, is because it, it is independent of their control. Normally, I mean, the sojourners and all these other left-wing groups that pretend to be Christians, and and there's a lot of Jews out there um, supporting uh, the Nazis who want to murder the Jews. But the, 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 there was such a contingent during the times of Hitler as well and during the Holocaust. People are naive. Uh, and well they... Often I hear people that are they're naive. I, I can see that clearly. I know you've had several books. Uh, that one of the recent bought, uh, book was The Final Battle, How the Next Election Could Be a Last, but also Dark Agenda. Uh, what what components in the dark agenda do you see? Well, look, connect America, you, if you enjoy being an individual and you enjoy the freedoms that come with the first, with, with the Ten Amendments, but particularly with the First Amendment, um, you owe that to Christians. Uh, the real, the spiritual father of America was Martin Luther. And uh, the, the, all the institutions which go by the name of our, our democracy, although we're actually a republic, um, but the whole American constitutional structure uh, is a product of Protestant thought. 98% of the 
of the founders, uh, settlers of this country were Protestant Christians. And then 2% were Catholics. Uh, and, and these Protestants, and, and some of them were deists, which means like Jefferson didn't believe in the divinity of Jesus Christ, but he believed in the principles of Christianity. Uh, of course, that, that's a central principle that he didn't believe in. Um, but our entire constitutional structure is based on Protestantism, uh, on the idea that, uh, for example, the central theme of the uh, Refor Protestant Reformation was the priesthood of all believers. And by that they meant um, if you are a believer in, in Christ, uh, you have a direct relation with God. You don't have to go through a church. Uh, you, 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 uh, you talk directly to your maker. Uh, and this, but this creates is how we get the idea of American equality. There is no equality for the left. The left, it's all oppressors and oppressed. Uh, so the, the world is divided between the privileged who are the oppressed and the guilty who are the oppressors. Well, Dave, David, I thank you for joining uh, us today. These are so important issues about the radical mind is your new book. And uh, I know that you, you can find it in, in many, uh, many places. And uh, uh, this is, as you mentioned, th this is really a, a clear assault on our constitution, on the fabric of America. And uh, I uh, thank you for addressing these issues today, David. Thank you for having me, Anthony. Appreciate it. Thank you for standing with us and supporting us with your donations when you visit PrayInJesusName.org. We need your donations, large or small. We also want you to support Dr. Anthony Harper, who did that fantastic interview. His website is imcnews.org. If you need prayer or to donate by telephone, call us today at 866-Obey-God. We'll see you next time. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.